Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file. I don't really know what. It's a bitmap, but don't know where it came from. And they were saying they want, from what I could tell, this giraffe and this tree only. And how they could do that. So my suggestion is control D and make a duplicate. Move that over. While this item is clicked, if you use the crop tool, the other part will stay there. So let's get this tree and click. Now, the other one stayed because I had it selected. So now, let's zoom in here. We just want the tree. Grab the shape tool. And that is, we've got the other animals in it or parts of that animal. So let's add a node right there and let's bring this up here. Add a node right there and bring that down. Bring it over till we get all the tree. Whoop. Put another node right there. Bring this down. Put a node right there. Bring it up. You see what I'm doing? I'm using the shape tool to refine my crop box. Now we need to add another node right in here. Another node here. And now you have that tree. So the same thing with the giraffe. With it selected. If you don't select it, that tree is going to go away when you use the crop tool. We need to crop it all out. So we still have the tree and the giraffe. But we need to get the other parts of the giraffe oh, out of the way. You could probably trace this, but the, you're asking Corel to do some more work. So let's add a node right there and bring it up. Bring this one up. You can play around with this. You cannot, you know, you can just uh, do it till the, because uh, you can actually go backwards. Like I need to move that node down. I think we have it. I think I got everything. I want to make sure I got the tail. And I do. Then, you know, we still have a white background. But it's easily gotten rid of when we uh, trace it. So let's go to bitmap. And let's go to resample and just see what it says. It's 600 dots per inch. It's plenty. Go to bitmap. Convert to black and white. Go to trace bitmap. I always use outline trace and always use clip art. It seems it works the best for me. Uh, you can play around with the detail later. But it's good. Your new one's going to be on top. We still have the white box, and you can tell that because when you click off the giraffe, we just go to arrange, ungroup, click on that, and you should get the white box. Let's draw a yellow box around it, put it in the back of the page. I just have a giraffe, and it's pretty good. Same thing on this bitmap, resample. Wow, 600 again. It's a good file. Bitmap. Convert to bitmap. Black and white. Trace bitmap. Outline trace. And yours might not have be here. You might have to go to bitmap. Outline trace. Clip art. Reduce. It, Corel's asking you if it can reduce it so it can trace it faster. Is the only terminology I can use. Did it that fast, but you can see the white box. Your new one's going to be on top. Arrange. Group, ungroup, grab the grab the tree and hit delete. Let's bring our yellow box in and we're good to go. Now there are some whites in this tree that we do not want. And it, the good thing about it, if you click on the black and move it, well, you know what? Okay, let's do this. So this is a this is a good problem. This thing is almost nine inches, so let's set our nudge factor to 11. Let's move this over. Let's take these, we can get rid of that guy. 
let's take all these yellows and go no fill red outline take this no fill black outline nudge our tree back over take our smart fill tool and fill this in now you have a transparent get rid of all the outlines you have a transparent tree that's going to engrave good uh, I'm actually going to send them the file and then you could make this tree as large as you wanted and I think that was what they were wanting of course the giraffe could be quite a bit bigger maybe the giraffe is eating the tree I don't know and you know you could always flip the giraffe around have them on the other side of the tree make num numerous copies of the giraffe you know put him over here control D make a duplicate put him over here flip him have him go in the opposite direction have this one a little bit bigger I'm just I'm just playing now um, you know you just make sure they're on the same plane of ground doesn't really matter anyway I truly hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching I was going to draw a yellow box around the whole thing. Put it to the back of the page. Anyway, thank you for watching.